Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Yumaniki Dream Diary. Previously, we went for one of the initial doors and went for the kind of street world where we gained the famous knife. Oh boy, time to dive back in. So, I do want to revisit the area I've been in before. Because I'm sure there's some more left in there. I think the main core of what you're supposed to get there, obviously, was a knife. So, I think for the most part it's done due to the way this scheme is structured. But, I do think there's like more Easter eggy things there. No, I can't play Nasu. So, if I don't see anything really new... Hi, how you doing? Then... Uh, you will see a bit of a jump skip. So, with the things kind of floating around the other door, I'm assuming the doors were kind of linked. And the original was like that too, but the way this game is formatted, it's pretty hard to tell. Like, what's linked, what's not. Where are we going in life? You know. The good stuff. Alright, let's try an interacting with you. I gave you... Wood plank. Death cliff. No, he does not want it. Got a blood bag. Bag of full what seems to be a blonde. Oh, okay, so you wanted the blood. Can help you catch a fish. What did we win? A sad fish. Let's give you to the other guy. Have this fish. Now give me your secrets. Concept art unlocked. So this is a true new collectible. It's no longer the other things we used to get. And we can do more at the docks. Cool. Not sure the lighthouse is bad. Considering there's ways to block it from seeing me, I'm assuming it is. Yep. Oh god. Okay, so let's not be seen. This is what you get for the lagging behind. I keep moving. Almost there. Wait, wait, wait. Right here. Pop these open occasionally. So we gotta push that. Dang it! Didn't make it in time. Thankfully. So we should push just a little bit. And then go back. I think this blocks me right here, right? Yes, it does. Thankfully. I 
Let's go. Hear a noise. Unsure if you block light or if you're completely transparent. Okay. Slowly but surely. I'm actually not even sure if you still affect me, but just in case... No. Okay. Hey, is there... There's a person back there. Whoa! I fell for the map! Intentional... Or bug. No, bug. <laughs> there, there's your exploration for you. So we gain some new art here. But there's more still to gain. So you can kind of tell how you're doing in an area based on this. Like things fill out. So initially it's just sketches, and then it's actual concept art itself. And this is a new area right here. Just like this is a new area. So you can kind of use that to keep track of like how much you've gone in an area. Alright, now let's not fall through the map this time. I mean, it may have been intentional or some kind of end state, but I don't think so. Alright, let's keep going. So definitely, there definitely is probably some clip spots in this game. Hello, another person. Lots of watching the symbolism here. This is pretty dreamlike, actually. Dark forces are just a little bit foggy. Secret. <laughs> Figures in the distance that are confusing. You don't really necessarily do anything, they're just kind of there. Got pompous occasionally, just in case of secrets. Hand. Feel this to me. But is there more over here? Dang it, I'm not sure if I keep, should keep proceeding or should go in. Which is the correct way? And if I keep going, I may clip for the ground, losing my progress. Let's go back to the door. Just in case. It was a very specific activation. Oh no. Dirty game cartridge. This is supposedly a horror game. This is an out only reference, ain't it? Maybe. Yep, 
Yes, it is. Get out of my game. You don't belong here. That was fun. So if we see those doors, we should definitely just go through them. Let's go in the igloo. So we're in the snow area now. This was also another big area. And that might have been the end of the dock area, because the other area we went to the end with to get the knife was technically the end of another door, I believe. Or we've just transitioned to a new zone. Left or right, I don't know. I am walking in the water and I have drowned. Do not drown. I like how they've done this place. I actually have free form. I'm not stuck to a limited 2D plane, which is good. So, it's nice when I get some freedom. I'm honestly kind of questioning like how many times that can become useful. Too much water. No, I'm slipping. No! No! Good game. I guess it's more of sand than ice. There's an area in the original Dark Souls. And it's in the underground area with the, the dragon and covenant and everything. But... It kind of... Not that this is based off that, but more of like they had a similar vibe where it was little strands of like little sand islands and water. It's kind of an endless void into the horizon. That makes me feel kind of uncomfortable. It makes me feel a lot smaller than you are. Now, a lot of you Mineke actually gives that feeling. This one, not so much, but it is a very different beast. But this area feels pretty good. I'll say. Give me that. Give me that loot. Can I control the balloon or is it linear? I think I do have some control over it, yeah. Fun. I know some people are going to deride this game because of its connection to Yumi Neki and how unique Yumi Neki is although it is a takeoff on an LSD but this is, I mean you gotta admit this is pretty pretty good, they didn't have the name attached to it there would be no, I feel like, apprehensions about this but for what it is, like how I interpret it this is kind of a, a, a game for the fans. It, it's not so much replacing the game, it's just more of... Here's a little, like, here's the world in three dimensions and a little different perspective on it. Have fun. I'll go, on, I'll go into this more in a, another video once I've beaten the game. I mean, it's legitimately using good use of perspective and to kind of like confuse you. Oh, there's a little 
Team. I wonder if we can even get the bike later. Because it doesn't seem like this world's kind of built for it. Look, I reiterate, this is pretty surreal. I don't mean the world, I mean this game existing. Even the way it's depicted, it just everything is. It kind of froze me for a loop mentally. This a little bit higher right here. Now, the balloon's there. But just in case, if there's secrets here, I want to know. Because they did add this little stretch. But it could just be for perspective. I gotta be careful I don't fall off. Yeah, no, there's nothing out here. Or is there? Well, either way, I'm not gonna look for it right now. It is curious to me that I extend on, though. Alright. Let's go to... Multicolored Tube Hut Land. I should really brush up on my names with these worlds. I'm not even sure they're official names or just things that fans kind of gave them. Let's come on, get a little carried away here. Let's go on. Hurry up and land. Thank you. Now, just in case there was something for me here, I'll go over here and use the, the rosary. To be frank, those look like sperm cells. I've been thinking about it in my mind for a long time. Let's just take the cat out of the bag and serve the ice cream. Oh. Hello. We've arrived. Great. It's this part. Hi, how you doing? Things going good for you? What are you up to? You won't let me see your drawing. Well, you know what we gotta do about that. Wait, what? No? What's the knife for then? Maybe now. I'm about legitimately disappointed by that. Do I just do this over and over again now? Or do I go in and out? Wait, no. Here we go. Hello.
Oh, I'm gonna be frank, that was a little bit lame. It's a different take on it, but not quite the same. Okay, well, I think we finished off the dock world and everything connected to it. It feels like we're missing. No, that's for that world. Cool. Now let's go back to the alleys and see if we missed anything there. See, there's an eyeball there. Miss something there. I wonder if that means we found everything. Alright, let's revisit this world. It's a bit different this time now. There's people wandering around. Maybe they were there before, maybe because I have to like go to the other area. From this direction. Now let's do some more exploring Barracks World. There's definitely a lot more here we have not found. I suspect. Please do not eat me. Nope, no, 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 Pac-Man, no! I know you're like one of those hungry gross things. Yeah, that's right. Back off. Ooh, that was close. Let's wait till you get some distance. We have a nice little safe trip. I see a shiny over there by those boxes. So far, everything's been pretty good for where it is. Like I said, I'm pretty disappointed in how they did Oboa. That could have been made a lot more effective. They went a little too subtle with it. And that makes me a sad panda. The prison of the soul will always be around you. And plank. Good. Deathcliff work? No. We have to have like something in here, like bait. To trap it. So we gotta find like meat. Or an item of some kind, an effect. There may or may not be one around here, we'll see. So if we don't find it in here, we may be revisiting this zone soon enough. Hey, how you doing? Don't think I don't see you there. Did 
anything back here? No. This is definitely going to be an area we're returning to. Oh boy! Okay, we got this. Whoa, this has changed. So there is incentive, aside from like collectibles, to come back to old areas. A lot of incentive, actually. Hey, where are you going? Shiny! Secret. <laughs> Are you in here? <laughs> Another secret. Wait, no, that's just candles. <laughs> I'm gonna say so far this is the one that's closest to the style of the original. Top down, big area. Now here's the important question. Do you want me to stab you? I just want to make sure, you know, before I do anything, that... You know, like I'm not committing a crime of sorts. And stabbing you. Because they've given me a knife, but they've taken away my ability to use it. Because they want me to break the scripting. <laughs> I think I just saw you in the south. There you are. Where are you running? Come on back here. It's a human Nikki remake. <laughs> Where are you leading me? Not there. Down. Maybe eventually you're gonna lead to that empty room. <laughs> and then I stab you. Hey. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm supposed to run from you, aren't I? Wait, this is a dead end! Okay. Don't run this way, don't run that way. No, you got me. So the bed's only lift as you get closer, so I can't like get a huge lead on you. Essentially. So I have to determine which is the right path to lead you, which I think is probably up here. Let's go this way. Left. Might be a dead end. Shiny! Hey, it's a personal win for me. Well, that's a dead end. Can I? Yes, I can. Release me. Thank you. Right way or wrong, I don't know. I think we're getting to the exit. If there is one. We're out of here. 
It's got the Doom Chivo. So yeah, there is still incentive to visit areas again, which is very good. It's not still not the same as Yumi Nikki, but like I said, different beasts. Let's see what we found. There's still a lot more left in this area. But I think we've completed off the street area, the alleys. No, we're missing one concept art right there. So it probably was a secret. I highly suspect it's the shadow person. Possibly. Because that's the only major character there's no concept art of. Maybe we have to revisit again. There's a good chance we get to go back to that door again and it'll be something different.